crafty friends i'm back with the flip through of my one little word album my pages for january um this is my first year doing this project and i am loving playing with my word and delving into these prompts um so i'm using the ally edwards one little word kit like i said in my flip through video i also pulled in some stuff in my stash so i pulled in the simple stories beautiful kit so i could have some um pastels to work in with the neutral and i also have the um embellishments from that kit so that's what that is so again my word is linker and for my intro page I just have this card and the January card <clears throat> so I really liked delving into the prompts this month and thinking about my word and doing a lot of journaling I did all my journaling in a notebook because I knew writing straight on these cards would be a terrible idea so for my reason why it says I want to take it slow pause linger I blame the New Yorker and me. They don't call this a city that never sleeps for no reason. I'm always on the go, always cutting interactions short. I don't ever stop and appreciate who I am. That stops here. Um, and that's pretty much my reason why for this word. I want to stop and take it slow and breathe and just be in this place and, you know, pause. Uh, I feel like linker has so many different connotations, but the way I'm interpreting it is just to stay. Stay where you are. So to invite into my life this year, I'd like to invite space and time and energy to linger. I'd like to invite ebb and flow to be able to go with it instead of bucking against the current. I'd like to invite breathing room to do the work of being even when it seems hard. Because, you know, doing that work is not always the easiest thing in the world. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's easy, but sometimes it's not. And I'm sorry about the change in lighting. I'm not sure why exactly that's happening because it's not exactly sunny or cloudy. I'm filming this at five in the morning so the lighting would behave, but we'll see how it goes. So for my definition, I have uh, to stay in a place longer than necessary, typically because of a reluctance to leave, to spend a long time over something. And my favorite definition is to dwell in contemplation, thought, or enjoyment. And that's really what I wanna get out of this word, to stop and dwell. That's what I want. I want to not be rushing on to the next thing and to just, you know, breathe, be. So for my note to self, I wrote, dare you. It's okay to stay a little longer, love a little longer, talk a little longer. It's okay to spend more time in this feeling, in this space, in this moment. Be, breathe, dwell. It's okay. And here I'm just giving myself permission to do this, giving myself permission to not rush to the next thing and not have to go flying around and doing everything people expect from me. And just to give myself space to do what I want and what makes me happy at that moment. Um, here, I thought about cutting my page in half like Allie did, but I figured it would be a good place to take a break from all the words. So I took a six by eight paper, cut it in half, and just made a little embe embellishment cluster. I have this tag and a sticker that says embracing my word. And I did the same thing on this side, another six by eight paper. I'm gonna stick to pastels with the neutral. So that's why I really like the Simple Stories Beautiful word uh, line, because it's really, really soft and pretty and floral. So. For my let go, I wrote the need to be everything for everyone. Sometimes you need to take time to be everything for you. And that is my biggest problem. I want to be everything for everyone all the time. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm the oldest of three and so I was always trying to be everything for my siblings. I don't know if it's just in my personality to be a problem solver, but that saps you and it runs you dry. And so that's my mission to let go of that a little bit and that will help me take time because if I'm rushing to be everything for everyone and I stop that then I can slow down the other thing I want to let go of is the weight of expectation that runs you ragged let it go Tashi let it go and that is directly related to the first point um that kind of weight is heavy and when you are pretty young I mean again I'm 27 you still have all these expectations on you and you're still trying to figure out where you are in the mix of where everybody wants you to be. And so my intentions are to kind of take off some of that weight and spend some time delving into my own skin and what I want to be and who I want to be. And so I want to let all of that go, let it just stay. So for quotation, I have the primary sign of a well-ordered mind is a man's ability to remain in one place and linger in his own company. I don't know who wrote that. I found it online and I was like, yes, that is my quote for this year. Um, so for my intentions on my year ahead, 
these took me the longest uh, I watched Dolly's video I slept on it I thought about it I slept on it again I wrote a lot um, and here's where I brought it down to so I have two places where I have intentions one's in my relationships which makes sense because linger is a word that requires you to do things with other people so for relationships I have go on walks with him talk to him Talk to your family, engage with your loved ones, build friendships that have fallen to the wayside, and cultivate those relationships. And those are really broad goals, but I feel like if I stop and I do those things, like I talk to people, and I do the walks, and I do the things with people, and I stay there, instead of rushing to what's next, then I will really be inviting my word into my life. And for um, my emotional goals, they are old. So the first one I have is I want to work on listening, not reacting, which is... A good goal I'm very reactive and I always want to problem solve and I need to realize that sometimes people just want you to listen and not solve their problems for two I have I want to turn off the noise social media the news and name chatter in 2018 the noise is always there I can't turn on the news without realizing that like our president is bringing us that much closer to World War three or some celebrities up to no good and I mm, don't need that right now so turn off the noise and be present in my own body Put it all down and walk away so I can linger in the moment. Three, I want to build headspace that is positive and nurturing so that I can linger in this place by myself or with others. I want to pray, read, meditate, and write more. I need a positive outlet for my thoughts and fears so I can stop and be instead of running from them. Um, and that's directly related to my anxiety. And so when you have anxiety, it feels like the noise in your head never stops. And there's always something that's putting pressure and weight on you. And one of the things my therapist and I have worked on is journaling and talking and doing the work. And so that's my plan, to do the work so I can deal with this, so I can stay and not always have to rush to the next thing. Four is I want to build my yoga practice. This is a great place to stop and be. And five is I want to work on being happier. Joy and fulfillment require work, so I want to read all those books on being happy and put it into practice and be the best me possible. And finally, the year ahead. So, uh, in what ways is my word already part of my life? My word is not really part of my life. I know it's missing. I want, I want it there. And that's pretty much what I wrote. For more or less, I wrote more time, less stuff, more dwelling on who I am and who I want to be, and less of everything else. More us time, less white noise to fill the gaps. More presence, less being checked out. More engagement, less passivity more comfort with the silence, less mindless chatter, quality over quantity, more of less. And the more of less is directly from Allie, but I love that so much. And I was like, yep, that's going in there. And then, so what do I fear? I fear losing parts of myself and the people around me. This is directly related to people's expectations of me and how that hurts and how heavy that is. And then what am I most excited about? I'm most excited about all the changes in my life. So I'm a new wife. I'm starting my first year of nursing school. I'm in a new season and that's exciting. So I'm excited about dwelling in this time and not rushing to what's next. I'm excited to dwell in this new headspace, heart space, and the place that my intentions will create. So that's what I did for January. I'm really happy with the words and my intentions and how far I got here. And I cannot wait to see where Linger and I go next. So if you like this video and you want to see what happens with me and this word for the rest of the year, please comment and like it and subscribe. And we'll see where we go together. Have a great day.